digital fan bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag fan brag or calling the fan bragging hotline at 855 fan brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the experience pros. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. And as we slide right into the Q4 and end of year festivities, are you going to end your year right? Well, we brought in your favorite business strategist, Robert Poston, successful entrepreneur, venture capitalist, strategy expert, financial and sales master. He's helped individuals, small businesses and corporations increase revenue and results for the past 20 years. Robert Poston's innovative outside the box approach to business management and employee relations has set him apart as a true motivator and the perfect CEO. Based in Stockton, California, he's currently the CEO of Sun Power by the Solar Quote and Metron Capital. Robert, welcome to Experience Pros. How are you guys doing today? We are fantastic, Robert. Thank you for joining us again. Hey, uh, do you treat the end of the year differently? And if so, why or why not? Uh, we try to pretend like we don't, right? So. Um, I think, I think we have to, I think the important part is, um, being real clear about your goals, you know, setting goals at the beginning of the year, um, and then changing those goals as uh, each quarter kind of winds down, each month winds down. Um, you know, and uh, here in the businesses, uh, that we try to, we try to not, um, change what we do. We try to keep it as, as, as consistent as possible. But, um, I also know that employees have stress. This is, uh, a big time of the year for our employees. It's uh, we, so we do a lot of fun games to keep them engaged. Um, we do a lot of contests with our, our customers, um, and uh, we don't run from the fact that uh, everybody does kind of uh, slow down for the holidays, for lack of a better term. Um, and we, we kind of plan that out in the beginning of the year. Um, and so, I think the most important part of the end of the year is just be very clear about your goals. And, you know, some years we have to work a little bit harder uh, than others, but um, keeping employees engaged is, is definitely something to, to keep on your mind. Yeah, let, me, let me follow up with a question. Does, is that based on uh, specific industries? I mean, I used to be a magician and Angel uh, didn't like the idea that from November 1st to March 1st, <laughs> I was empty, done, you know, had no work. And, and so we decided here to experience pros, we're going to play all 60, 60 minutes and, and, we don't slow down. Is it industry specific? Um, I think it's people specific to be uh, more specific. Sure. Um, I think, I think industry, anytime there's a, there's a slow time in an industry, I think it's important. That's when you grow, right? So uh, too many professionals try to grow when it's busy. I think it's too late at that time. I think if, if you're in an industry that allows you time, um, I think that's when you plan. I think that's when you plan for your success. That's when you plan, um, when you get busy, that's what you, that's, that's where you put, how many people are you going to hire? What are your milestones? Um, so when it's in industry specific, when you're, when you're, when it's a slow time, I think that's a time for growth. Um, and then other industries are different, right? Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, in the solar industry, it gets slow during, uh, the winter time. So that's when we plan our growth, um, with Metron capital, uh, we just want to keep our, uh, our employees and our clients engaged at all times as you know, Thanksgiving comes around, as Christmas comes around, uh, we just want to keep that relationship and uh, keep it keep it as less stressful as possible during this time. I like that. Thank mm-hmm. you so much, Robert. What do you think the most important question for business owners, you know, to ask themselves this time of year? Um, I think it's it's just important to ask. Did you did you did you do what you set out to do at the beginning of the year? Um, and what changes did you make? I, I love the question of what do entrepreneurs and business owners ask themselves? Um, I think it's something that's not talked about a lot. I think the questions you ask yourself is, um, is basically what you're going to get. So our, our minds are, are truth seekers, right? So if you, if you ask yourself the right questions, um, especially during this time, I think you, you're setting yourself up for the right results. So a lot of questions we like to ask ourselves are, um, did we, did we set out to, did we set out where our goals uh, true to what we were setting out to do, right? And so um, a lot of times we set goals at the beginning of the year and we never go back to ask if, if that's something we were, we were trying to get to. Um, 
not all goals always end up um, either profitable or non-profitable or uh, where you want them to be. And so it's, it's important to ask, um, am I moving in the right direction? Is this what my, I want my company to look like? Is this what I want my culture to feel like? It, it, you um, know, do you, do you also really ask important. Robert, if the, the, do the goals line up with your mission or is that what you're, you're kind of getting at there? Is it, uh, this is where we're going. Does it line up and match along the milestones? Um, yeah, and yes and no, right? So I think every time you set a goal, you're trying to set it within your mission, right? Um, and I just, sometimes what happens is your goal doesn't actually, or the question you ask yourself or what you're trying to get to doesn't actually fit with inside that mission, although it started out that way. Um, and then we, a lot, we, um, we get lazy sometimes, right? And so we just keep going down there and say, hey, that was our goal. Uh, and we tend to forget is why was that our goal? What were we actually trying to accomplish? Cool, we, we, we hit the goal. But what was the actual reason we were trying to get after that goal? And I think those are those are important questions as you wind down your year. I think personally, um, or even professionally, is to is what I set out to do actually what I'm getting, or did I just hit a goal? Right? Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? It does. It, it does. does. We're talking with Robert Poston. He's our business strategist with over 20 years helping corporations increase their revenue and result. He has an innovative outside the box approach to business. Now, this time of year, Robert, I know we're kind of wrapping up things when it comes to taxes and financial financial pieces. Is there anything else that we need to get in order, kind of get our our, our corporate house in order before the before the new year? Yeah, that's, um, I think the first thing is, is oh, our taxes are the, the, the most important part. Um, our QuickBooks or any financials are, are important to look at every day. So, um, uh, any business we have, I mean, that's something we, we discuss every day, making sure that, um, we're not, we're not coming down the end of the year and then now we're pushing back till October or we're buying more time. So I, I, I think, um, first and foremost, getting your taxes and everything in, in order is, is the most important. Um, and then again, from another financial standpoint is once you have that is, um, what did you make is always an important question. And what are you going to do with it? Do you, right. mean, do you so, mean profit? Like what, what was what was left over after everything? Yes, that's a scary. And I, I don't think we do. I, from the people I've coached or, or um, companies we come into, I, I don't know that we do a good enough job of that. A lot of time we're we're just putting out fires mm -hmm. rather than actually uh, planning um, or being honest with ourselves. Did we make money? Was was it enough money to do the things we want to do next year? Right. Um, I, I think at the financial side this time of year is, is one of the most important things to focus on and to look at and to be honest with yourself about. Um, don't run from it. Just hit it head on and um, be honest. You know, I I know, Robert, when, you know, when we're trying to wrap things up and get our financial house in order and do the taxes and all of that, like this is supposed to be a, an exciting, you know, it's the holidays, it's the fun time of year, right? We're thinking about families. And I know uh, for many companies, because of, it's also the end of the fiscal year and the fiscal quarter and all of that. It can also mean changes in, in employment for, for their staff and their staffing changes. And so I was like, is there a better time of the year than the end of the year? Is there any other time of the year that we can actually do that? So it doesn't always fall at the holidays. What do you think? Yeah. So we, we make a, uh, we make a rule um, that we, we do this every, we do this every quarter. Right. And so we try not to look at it, as a end of the year thing, um, we we look at our financials monthly, um, and then quarterly we make decisions about personnel, um, and that way so that, so that way we're not stressed at the end of the year, right? Um, making sure your 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 financials in order. I can't tell you how important that is, and I know as an entrepreneur, it's it's difficult. It's probably one of the least things I like. I've uh, trained myself to do that first thing in the morning, so I get it out of the way. Um, but it is super important. Uh, so that way you don't come stressed at the end of the year because, again, your employees are stressed. Um, you're stressed. There doesn't need to be more stress. <laughs> I think being out in front of it and um, making sure that your employees know what's what's coming is always, always important. Expectations with throughout your business is important. No, I, I don't like to be blindsided. Absolutely not. Uh, Robert, how do you want people to uh, follow up with you if they uh, heard something that triggered a thought and said, you know, I need to know more about this gentleman? Uh, they can um, go to robertposton.com. All right. That's probably the easiest way. Um, yeah, 
you know, we, we enjoy sh sharing um, information um, and uh, they can email me and uh, any help or anything we can do to help out there is, uh, is what we're trying to accomplish. You got it. That's Robert Poston. You've been lucky. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Robert Poston.com, P-O-S-T-E-N, Robert Poston.com. Robert, thanks for joining us again, man. We look forward to our next time with you. And we will be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Kramer. This is the Experience Bros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show. Contact them on the web 